Good morning, everybody. Creepy. And yes, behind the scenes, you had Alita Lima herself playing with a cat, Rob <laughs> stroking his beard, Ian doing Ian <laughs> things. So we're all ready to go this morning. David, I think we're still hiding behind menus at a bar. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, that, that would be correct. So to give a quick recap, you guys successfully walked a path the last time we were together and made your way into the city of Requidor. You got out from the cave where we had dealt with that vampire dude that nobody's been kicked into the chasm. We're Major good at way this. Off the path into the tree line and then got back onto the road and then found yourselves into uh, the city here where you had a little bit of scuffling with the guards which was very funny and it resulted with you guys finding yourself sitting in a little restaurant with menus in front of your face just trying to kind of blend in um but you all began to hear the kind of loud banging some kind of a loud noise coming from the north of the city that could be something of could be. potential problems for you in the future but we are still sitting at that restaurant and and i did specifically ask before where did you guys go and ghostblade you said that you go to the bar and yeah. <laughs> so you you will have walked to the bar nobody and lima and serona had grabbed the table but as soon as you sit down you'll notice that all of a sudden the ghost pepper that was being carried along has now changed back into a gimlet Oh, no. Is it still in the bag? <laughs> Gimlet, I was uh, totally expecting to use that for a spicy margarita. Gimlet Wait. has a knife, so <laughs> Gimlet is still in the bag. Gimlet is not in the bag. Gimlet a drink. <laughs> did he, did he just hold his way out of the bag? <laughs> the bag is yeah. no more. As as he pops out of the bag, it just like kind of <laughs> like the bag just kind of pops. And uh, <laughs> you, you might need to repair that bag at some point. Hardy will sit there and be like, oh, that is so satisfying to see. <laughs> <laughs> Gimlet knows how to go get that bag. Uh, oh, you, you see Gimlet sitting there, a little frazzled, his hat slightly bent uh, and holding a knife, as he said. So that would be <laughs> on brand. <laughs> Sorry about your hat, Gimlet. Gimlet sort of shakes his head, realizes he's at a bar, and then uh, looks over at the bartender and is like, <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm already walking to the bar, so I kind of I, do. I just notice that Gimlet pops out. Yeah, as you look bar. back, you'll just see like a, from from behind. You'll just see the pointy hat re reappear. You'll know so, Gimlet's back. <laughs> bartender's there with three drinks, and I turn around to the bartender and just go make up for just one more <laughs> and a little saucer and of milk for Hardy. Just... <laughs> it's not not We're the first time Ghostblade's been through something like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And, and while you're the, the the three of you are sitting at the table, uh, you'll notice that Serona, who's with you, just um, just disappears. Where'd just she go? Vanishes, just turns Weird. invisible. I think she might have been a group hallucination. Have we considered I don't that? Know. <laughs> Is that a thing? Can that happen? Yes. What well, you are you off said in the that trees. so convincingly. <laughs> Pretty sure I, I mean, he added it just did. To, to, to be fair, I mean, you, you were all turned into chocolate bars. Gimlet was turned into uh, uh, ghost peppers. I think somebody else was turned into something. You, you guys are all having, like, you know, reconfiguration problems, probably. It's It's been a trip. It has been several trips. Uh, not at all related to ingestible hallucinogenics yeah don't order the mushrooms folks <laughs> ghostblade you get up to the bar uh the, the bartender is there older gentleman with like kind of a handlebar mustache but it's like gray and uh he's just pouring drinks and that's what you see there's no one else in here but every so often there's another like very loud 
bang coming from the north and he'll just like stop for a second and look and you'll see like even inside here you'll all really notice this that the building kind of shakes every time that there's some kind of a very loud noise coming from the north area mm -hmm. Ghost, what do you do i just every time the bartender like quin cringes i just get more and more frustrated that our drinks have not been created yet <laughs> because we are it is i'm far too used to the the loud weird noises something attacking at this point we're just numb to it give, so give me a perception check what are we what are we perceiving today what are we perceiving today we're in a bar so we should be perceiving pretty well hey we're perceiving at a 16. <laughs> on a 16 uh Ghostblade, you sit there and and it takes him a little while to get all the drinks prepared and then eventually he does pass them out and he doesn't he doesn't really say anything. He's just doing it, and he nods to you accordingly, and then walks over to the to the uh, table to go and put the drinks over on the table for the rest of the party. Uh, but while you're sitting there, and with the sixteen, as you begin to sip on your drink, you'll just like kind of peripheral from the corner of your eye, you'll see that there's somebody sitting next to you that you didn't see sit down. There's somebody sitting there now. I'm irritated that someone sat right next to me. It's, it's a full bar, right? Like it's a big open space. It's a big open space and somebody's sitting next to you. And it's like you you have like the cup up to your face. And as you're doing that, as you're drinking, you see you like somebody's sitting next to me. Uh, well, I'm going to turn and glance at him to try and see what's there and express my annoyance that someone decided that seat when there's a full open space they could have chosen. And <laughs> as you bring your cup down and you look over, you'll see that it is anukan sitting there oh, just kind of what sitting there is he the only one that can see him Al alita give, give me an uh give me an investigation check <laughs> i need like a 25 in order to see this <laughs> 16. on a 16. Lima, you're looking up through the through the place, and you just see like Ghostblade is drinking his drink, and then he just turns to the seat next to him. Oh, and there God. is no one there. <laughs> so I'm just now I'm going to be talking to someone. <laughs> oh, great! Has has this Ghostblade been sniffing trees again? Like, what's going on here, guys? Do you guys do you guys see this? She like, you know, bumps nobody and and Gimlet. Are you guys well, seeing this right now? Even though it's going to be embarrassing, I think the next thing I have to do is kind of turn to the group because they've questioned me, like, and my visions of this person. And I have to say, you guys do see the person sitting at this chair, right? <laughs> so right, Ghostblade. Right. Let's let's frame this. You're drinking your drink. You turn. You see him there, and then you look back at your party and say, "Do you see this guy?" <laughs> <laughs> Gimlet uses minor conjuration to produce a straight jacket and just sort of holds it up and points and looks to the rest of the group. <laughs> no, he's our friend. If he sees someone there, he's there. Uh huh. Oh. Gimlet okay. just points again to the straight jacket. <laughs> um, oh. yeah, none of you see him sitting there, but he is going to lead over and be like, is everything okay? Anukan has to me? To, yeah, to you. Okay. Do I know that they can't see him yet? Have they like have I seen the little straight jacket joke and based based <laughs> on their, their facial reactions, it's clear as day they can't see him. Okay. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> so here I am talking to an invisible chair. Um yeah, Lima's just why can't I'm gonna ask him, why can't anyone else see you? I don't know. I should I am I supposed to be am I invisible? Can the people not see me? Can you see me? I don't know. Yeah, I can see you just fine, but you are sitting there at that chair and my friends right over there at that table, none of them can see you. They don't know that we've been having these conversations. Why can I see you? Well, I think I it has to do with the like the blade. It has to do with that. Like you're the one that has it. I think <laughs> like part i am still inside of it like i'm in it right? you are you and are part of the blade right how did you can i ask how you became part of the blade do you know that's a really 
interesting question because, like, why when we I first it. met, I well, okay, well, no need to get snippy. I'm just discovering myself like you are too. I don't, I don't exactly have the best memory anymore. But it seems like the more you're using that blade, the more I'm remembering things, and like, I think I used it at some point. So and like something happened where now now I'm in it and like I don't I think maybe you could help me get out of it but we have to like work together we could do that what did you have a plan or a thought we can continue using the blade to take on different monsters I well you know what I think that's probably for the best I think because you keep coming up against monsters I'm a monster hunter like it's kind of like and and the more monsters that you're fighting the more like i'm remembering fighting those same monsters myself i mean this is a thing this is working well i like this team approach right so so i i, I really wanted to know from you like what monsters have you have you fought Well, breaking the fourth wall here, I'm trying to remember what monsters we fought. <laughs> He's like, like at least two there monsters. The one with the legs and the teeth and the fur and the, the guy eyes. with the face. <laughs> <laughs> we fought a lot. We fought a lot. We fought a fire chicken. I, I mean, if anyone asked me the... what monsters we fought, I'd, I'd just. I, I'd just get up and walk away. I don't know. Well, you know that no, you'd be sitting there trying to pick them out of your teeth to see if you can recognize them off the teeth. <laughs> yes, we do know that I have been fighting personal demons the entire time. Yes, your inner demons uh, and owning the demons along the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. um, hey guys, and I'm turning back around to the group. Can you help remind me what monsters we have fought? I know there was. The Batman that got kicked off of the ledge. Are you? Uh, are, are you? Is this for your conversation you the other with way your around. invisible friend? I just. I need you to trust me a little bit, please. Like your, just. What's What's your imaginary friend's name? Does he have? I can a tell name? you. You've earned about. Does she have a name? Mm, it's gonna be <sighs> fluffy. Anu Khan. Right now, I'm trying to think about how I can torment my friends with all the dexterity that, that I have. <laughs> Like I'm like looking at salt shakers and things on the bar that I can flick at them. There's no need to get huffy. What is nobody doing at this point? Nobody is just staring at this with the menu still up covering half his face. <laughs> at, at which point um, a waitress comes over and says, uh, can I take your order? Yes. yes. Two sliders, please. Just two. Okay. That's a very obscure order. <laughs> You're I would doing like a, a plate of judging today, Ghost Blade. I, woke up I would like a plate of bacon, and I mean a plate as in like a a stacked plate of bacon, please. Oh, okay. Why is that? Why does that feel <laughs> creepy? Because it's creepy. She's like <laughs> dreaming about eating people. <laughs> Our friend likes bacon. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> It's like when uh, Hannibal Lecter is like, you know, I'd really like the fava oh. beans right now. No, no. <laughs> uh, and and for you, sir, as as she looks at Gimlet, uh, I'll have uh, something with vodka, lime, and uh, a whiskey to go, and a steak. I sure thing and she she walks uh, away and just to be clear when you bring the steak don't half size it or anything like, just a full size steak is this a common problem for gnomes it's a common problem for for you people you don't know how to you think just because I'm here that you can you know sell me half a steak for the same price not uh not happening <laughs> wait who is you people gimlet no, i was gonna say <laughs> you people we're a bit of a diverse group here <laughs> that is right we are quite diverse i am a cat <laughs> start you know my I, I will I say I, perhaps that was a little unfair i've never been sold a half size steak by a cat <laughs> <laughs> 
which is somewhat surprising given how wily cats can be. Uh, Ghostblade, as you're uh, sitting there going back and forth and you just saw your an order was taken for your group, but you're still sitting there with Anukan and trying to think up of, you know, answering his question. And he's like, have you, have you fought like a lot of monsters? It seems like there are so many, out. it's so many for you to pick from. Like you're having trouble naming any. It, it, it has been an increasing amount and it feels like every, every day of this life, uh, there are more and more monsters to face demons if you will that sounds extremely poetic thank you i don't know if it was a it was a, if that was a compliment or not but thank you, Do you... he's like oh, no, it was it's... not <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you uh do you, do you know how many types of monsters there might be how many you you've come across uh lots of them just lots. Every, look, you've helped us with at least three or four of the monsters, whether you remember that or not. Well, so I've, I'm trying to create like kind of a log of the different types of monsters that we would come up against, just like for my journal. And you can see he still has the book. He's always got like this book that he's flipping through. And he says, so I've got so some monsters are like as big as mountains. Uh, some hide in the dark, some feed on fear, some feed on blood, some monsters kidnap people, some cause natural disasters. But I think the worst are monsters who tell lies. They're easily the worst. Which types of monsters tell lies? And what do you mean by that? There are monsters that just are capable of lying. And they'll tell you one thing when they mean something else, you know, like liars, like convincing, deceptive. They can create a whole thing that you believe emphatically for nefarious purposes. Look out, it's going to become liars and dragons. I think so. And with that, he's going to like kind of scribble down. He's nefarious purposes. That's a good note. I like that. Hmm. And as that's going on, uh, <laughs> look for pants on fire. Anyway, the, yeah, uh, subtle clues. Oh no, political monsters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lima, give me a perception check. Yay. I love rolling the things. I am perceiving a 20. Yeah. Literally, I think I'm perceiving a few things. <laughs> on a 20, you hear this kind of really unsettling horn coming from outside. You said horn, right? Horn. <laughs> okay. Starting with the letter oh. H. <laughs> like like trumpet <laughs> horn, okay? Like a war horn. Like something That's good is because going the other on. thing would have been really, really unsettling. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh where is that bacon i need that bacon because it sounds like things are about to go down guys you hear that did you hear the horn are you uh, yelling timber no sorry that was <laughs> <laughs> sorry i didn't get that reference you better move. Uh, and mm -hmm. yeah. And, and Oh, is this Kesha? Are we referencing Kesha? <laughs> <laughs> it took you a minute. <laughs> it's going down. I'm yelling timber. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay. Uh, uh, you should yeah, be. Yeah, so. So let me turn to everyone else. Just, did, did anybody hear that horn? Uh, they, if they did, it would have been much fainter than you would have. Ah, okay. Uh, well, I think that we probably should uh, get our food, get our drinks as quickly as possible because, I don't know, it just seems like something bad is about to happen. 
it definitely sounds like something bad is about to happen. But then again, every minute of every waking day, something bad is happening with you people. So, you know, I don't know. It's probably just on, on cue now. Hardy, we're not the ones with wanted posters, but okay. Listen, listen, it was not my best. It is, it is not even the real photograph of me, okay? It is clearly shop photoed, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's better. Uh, it <laughs> didn't I grab Didn't I grab that wanted poster before yes. I snuck out? So yes. is, am I overhearing any of this in the middle of the uh, conversation with Anu Khan? There is, yes, you would definitely hear. <laughs> you're definitely oh, hearing this. Then I'm just taking that poster out of my backpack and just like, holding it up like backwards to the group. <laughs> Just be like that one. You you are all seeing the uh, uh, very um, positive fo- wanted photo of Hardy holding what looks like to be two weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Gimlet is just checking to see if it says anything along the lines of reward. <laughs> <laughs> um, it would. No, it definitely does. <laughs> It says 25,000 gold alive. Gimlet keeps reading. <laughs> Hardy is scared. <laughs> Look, it wasn't my, like, it's, it wasn't even me, okay? It was, it was another cat. You, you, have you heard of artificial photoshopping technologies? Oh, no. AI does not invent, AI does not come into the discussion in eternity. Wait a second. What is AI? Artificial intelligence. Artificial photo shopping technologies. It's a shop that does photography, but it is a type of beast that its eyes take pictures and then those magically go onto paper. It is like they have to have a paw on you. Have you never heard of artificial? No, 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 no. no, no, Hardy's going to invent cat GPT. Hardy, to understand AI, AI it's it's complicated, Wait. but it's actually just two words. It's artificial intelligence. And as that happens, there's a huge <laughs> bang come from outside again. Lima turns to Gimlin and says, did you say chat GPT or cat GPT? <laughs> cat GPT. <laughs> this is so sidetracked. This is just so much. Uh, all of you start to see as people outside are running in the streets to the north. Nobody Gimlet what just do sort you of do? like waves to the bartender and is like, Where's our drinks? We got chaos here. <laughs> At He's which like... point you'll see, you'll see as the waitress comes out and tosses tosses the plates down in front of you, and then she walks out the door and she's like, We you, you probably take that to go. We, we need to go. We're evacuating. Mm-hmm. Slider. Where are the to-go boxes? I mean, if you're Lime gonna is tell just us gonna to open take up it. her bag and they're on like, they're on the way the out the door. In. I'm gonna grab my but sliders like few, one in each gonna, hand and start hustling take, out like, the door. A handful Come on, guys, of bacon there's a town to say. in her hand, Again. like holding it like a like a bacon bouquet, <laughs> just one Dude, at a time. The, the level of energy that is being exhibited right now at this stage, at this like time in the morning, by everyone in this campaign is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I am so happy to be here. <laughs> Let's go, guys! Save this town. Saturday morning, grab your bacon and let's go. If everyone's <laughs> running away, give a little used mage hand to grab another bottle and throw that in his bag and then <laughs> and then head for the door. Uh, you guys get out the door and you'll see that everybody seems to be moving, running to the north. And you can see that there is now smoke coming from far off in the distance to the north. But you guys are on the south of town. People seem to be moving towards the center of town. And whatever is going on is happening further than that. In the center of town, there is the keep of Requidor. And it seems like that's where everybody's going. Do you follow the crowd? Yes. Where everybody goes, there's room for nobody. That is quite poetic. There's a lot of poetic one-liners coming out of uh, this group today. It's very, uh, very fun. We're all trying to get into the recap. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth wall is just shattered it's, at this point. Yeah, that was, that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> you all make your way. You follow along, and you see that the guards are holding these giant doors open as they're bringing people in. They're just trying to hustle people into this keep, and you'll overhear the people saying, like, we're under attack. 
something something's attacking from the north well what happened well what's the prince going to do about it i don't know i don't know why they're doing this this is horrible and so this is kind of what the general consensus is and as you make your way inside you are now surrounded by people the doors are open behind you what do you do I why does it feel like a death trap You stand at the edge of the room, okay? Yes, I don't want to be surrounded by people. Uh, what does Gimlet do? Gimlet sort of sighs and uh, does not pick any pockets. <laughs> it's like, uh, it would probably be bad to steal from people right now. <laughs> uh, where, what is Gimlet Ghost sort for? of looks to see if there's somebody in charge and tries to head that way so uh, so gimlin as you're looking up you don't see anybody it, you you see that there is like kind of this opening towards the far end of the room where clearly somebody is going to come out and speak to the crowd of people but the crowd is just kind of standing there waiting for direction you again overhear them talking like well what did they do well uh, what what happened why would they attack us H have have we not done right uh by by the, the lady? Well, what's happening here? Why, why are we under attack? And so that will continue. Uh, what is Ghostblade doing at this time? I mean, I was going to kind of just linger around the back and try to just be evasive and not be seen. But now that Gimlet made a comment about picking pockets and overhearing the people that are just very whiny at the point, I think I'm going to start picking pockets. <laughs> to be fair, Gimlet didn't make a comment about picking pockets. That was mentally. I know. That was, I know. That was, that, internal was, monologue. That, was just, that was that was me. <laughs> Irving, that was me looking at you, and you looked at pockets, and then you kept on walking straight ahead. And I'm going, huh, that's an idea. I don't know that they're being whiny. Their town's under attack, and they've been ushered into a central keep. Potato, potato, same thing. He's like, you people surviving a disaster. What a bunch of whiners. <laughs> well, they're all very, their attention is very much focused on something that is not me. Ghostblade stealth check. uh stealth check how stealthy are we gonna be today 19. yeah you're pretty stealthy so you see that there is very clearly a group of children to your left that have lollipops and you see oh, to your no. right <laughs> is an older gentleman with a cane it seems like he's having a really hard time standing up but um <laughs> Very, I abandoned this thought clothing. process. <laughs> Ghostblade comes out later. He's got like four lollipops and a cane. <laughs> he's like, "Hey guys, guess what I found?" <laughs> that, 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 is, that is the that is the DM just very clearly telling me there's a path to take, and this is not it. <laughs> <laughs> but you are very stealthy right now. I am very stealthy. As uh, I walk is, directly past the children and the adult, and I just go, I just abandon the thought process of stealing from them. <laughs> uh, what is Lima doing as you crowd into this room? Uh, Lima, Lima kind of goes along along the side as well, um, just trying to get good eyes on what's going on. She's also finishing the last of her bacon bouquet because that's important. Bacon bouquet. Uh, you're you're also going to have sitting on your shoulder, Lima, is a little cat who who leans over and says, uh, hey, listen, so inside here, uh probably not good place for me. Do you mind can I like uh can you hide me somewhere? A bag? I, well, uh, no, not a bag, but like you got somewhere I could, you know, maybe I could be like a like a forearm cat, you know, like oh like like I blend in that way. Like I will pretend huh? to be hairless. Uh, you're a little bit bigger than Pip, so I can't exactly put you in my braid. Uh, Hardy, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to put you in the bag. I should also I should also remind everybody. Hardy is uh green, mint green right now oh, as yeah. he was uh, turned green in the last episode, and that enchantment has not faded. So he is he is like bright green right now. <laughs> Well, okay, that's an interesting disguise choice. It wasn't his choice. <laughs> I mean, he says that about lots of things, and we still don't believe him. Uh, uh, yeah, Hardy, um, 
You're, you're, I'm sorry, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna have to go do in the bag. Have, do you have like a, a backpack so that I could like, you know, pop yeah. up out of it? Okay, I, I yeah. will do that. But that is fine. As long as it's not that little bag hanging on waist that just dangles around. No, 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 no. It's, it's, you're, you're on, you're on my back. Why does it smell like, oh gosh, it smells like bacon in here. <laughs> is that a problem for you? I mean, you it's just like bacon. Uh, I mean, it's just really just uh, overwhelming. <laughs> oh, just imagine what that grease does to that cat hair. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and you guys are all so shiny when he comes out. <laughs> oh, guys, a little lubricated. You know what? We're not going there. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> and uh, as, as you guys all look up, and finally somebody steps out to speak to the crowd, and you see this. Uh, the person looks human, but also not entirely. Like, they look human, but they have these kind of uh, neon-ish kind of glowing tattoos over their face that just kind of like it looks very natural almost and they have a slight point to their ears a slight point not enough mm. for them to be an elf but certainly elf. possibly not looks very unique and standing next to him is a, a woman that has very very pale pale skin like white grayish skin and long golden hair and they both look like some kind of royalty however what she is wearing is not at all the house arms the 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 coat of arms that he is wearing they are clearly from two different factions but they seem Does to be she standing look anything like the witch that took pip uh give me a perception check or actually that would be investigation Investigation? Yes. 10. Yeah, on, on a 10, you kind of think for a second, oh, that might be because you're at a distance. You're at the mm -hmm. back of the room. And then you're, oh, no, that's not her at all. She has different hair. Her face is, is different. That's that's a different person altogether. And so is, this person's... That's right. Yes. Women never change their hair. In two don't, days, don't it would have been... Chat. What were you saying, Ghostblade? I was trying to see if you said they're both standing together, but is it is it are they giving off the impression that one is desirous of taking the lead role and kind of issuing the command, the other one's kind of a support figure, or are they both kind of standing there like we are in unity in control? We're Does standing that make in sense? unity in, yes, yeah, yeah. It's okay. the, we are we're in unity, we're in control. Okay. And uh as as the they, they step up, the the man announces Everyone, it seems we are under attack. There has been a great misunderstanding from the Eternity Lord's Council, and we need everyone to help find Hardy the Cat, which is uh. allegedly here in the city. If we can produce the cat, we might be able to get the attack to stop, but otherwise we hope and ask that everyone stays here for your safety. We are doing the best we can to keep everyone safe. We are trying to talk everyone down. Seems there has been a great misunderstanding. The Velocrolic has said that we are harboring Hardy, and that is something we are not. We are not doing that. Lima just kind of like pushes his head into the bag and then oh. closes it <laughs> above his head. He very just goes slowly. <laughs> Hey, wait. Oh, what happened to nobody? Oh, no. Where did he go? Oh, crap. <laughs> that guy said, said things about me and nobody disappeared. Did he go to fight them? He, pro he probably ran off to defend my honor. That is what happened. He was just oh, yeah, like, he probably just, he's, he's like flail. <laughs> I don't like this person. That sounded like a very cowardly See, you know, the, remember I said the little whiny thing? That sounds like the leader of a whiny group of people. <laughs> Hardy is going to pop, kind of like peek out of the bag for a second. He's going to say to them, hey, Lima. So um, re really quick, that guy up there, 
He is uh, he is Eternity Lord, and the lady next to him is also Eternity Lord. Um, they were, I, well, they were friends with me a long time ago, but not. And what did not, you do? Well, I did the thing that you know that got me in the bigger trouble, and they, they kind of defended the, the me. And then, the, the, right, well, th th thank you, thank you, voice in the sky. Yes, <laughs> it was the tax evasion thingy, and um, that got me into hot water. Uh, and they kind of stood up for me, which was not very good for them. So, um, is that yeah. is that all? There isn't something else that you're not telling me that you maybe I, did that. If there is something I am forgetting at this point in time, it is because I genuinely am forgetting it, and I would tell the absolute truth right now. Oh, so yes, <laughs> that is exactly what someone would say when they were telling the absolute truth. <laughs> there is definitely nothing I am missing at this time. Uh -huh, that is all right. Can we deception awesome. check Hardy? <laughs> I mean, yes, but it's like the old, it's like the joke with the, uh, on Simpsons with the lie detector where it's like, do you understand? Yes. And the machine blows up. That's, uh, <laughs> that's what deception check on Hardy looks like. Uh, okay. Well, Hardy, how about, how about this? Uh, what do I need to know about these two Eternity Lords? Um, well, I mean, technically I, I, well, uh. I owe them a favor, you would say. What do you owe them? A, a favor. It's just like a well, hey, what? like an I owe you. Oh. But is there is there a specific favor that you're supposed to do for them, or have they not called that favor in yet? They, they definitely have not called it yet. No. Hmm. It sounds like the favor is about maybe that? you. I am hoping it is not. But um, I could I could very well be wrong. Oh, nobody's back. Hello, nobody. I'm back. <laughs> Did you start a fight with anybody while you were while you left? Like, is that? Are we involved in a fight because you threw something at them? Did that I? Would be tradition. I blacked out there for a second. <laughs> what happened? Well, oh no. <laughs> uh, the 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 leadership here wants. Uh, Wants the townsfolk to to produce Hardy to stop the uh, the invasion. Okay, and have we all agreed to that? Nope. No, no. Hardy no. is Hardy. Lima has pushed, has into pushed him further into the back. Oh, and they are both Eternity Lords. Okay, but they're not Bat people, right? These are just they're, normal folks. They are. Well, they're kind of normal. They are magical. The uh, the lady there is. I'm ass I'm assuming that nobody has now walked up next to Lima so that we can have this conversation. Sure. Uh, <laughs> nobody like has glitched out and has moved forward in the time. And um, yeah. So, so the lady there, she's actually elemental. She's not really pers like normal person like 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 fleshy like you. Uh, and that person, mm. the uh, the other guy, his name is Prince Martin. Okay, Prince Martin. His guy. Um, these 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 were friends, but you know the things happen, and we're, they, they kind of they're mad at me. And um, but he's uh, he is a valiant. A valiant. He's a valley girl. Va a valiant. <laughs> a va valiant. You gave him a name, so Prince Martin, and Prince Martin. I didn't give him his. His parents gave him that. Name. I understand that. It's just I don't. Are these people killable? I or they... I feel like everyone who was this cat's friend ends up hating him. We could maybe cut out a few steps and just get the reward now. <laughs> Gimlet Hardy's been with us a long time. You want to give him for the reward? Mostly because he tried to poison us with cheese. <laughs> that was a long time ago. When we first Friends met him. got to forgive. It was not. It is a delicacy. I, we have been over this. <laughs> so at the at the front, you see that there is these these two people. Now, you know, one is uh, Prince Martin and the other one is an air elemental. And both of them are eternity lords. What do all of you do? I stride up to them 
and ask how they are doing today. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I also want to just remind you, you are in a incredibly dense, crowded room. Um, so keeping that in mind, you sh walk up to the prince or the elemental lady. I would like to talk to the lady. Okay. I've never met an air elemental. How do you know it's an air elemental? How do you know who I am? A cat told... No, we're not going to say <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> I know everything there is to know about you. You don't look familiar. As the as Martin That's not up, creepy at all. You don't look familiar. Hey, I've familiar been stalking here. you. <laughs> who... who... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah who are you i who love this are it's you go great who are you who am i yes who am i there's no you way he answers this without sounding snarky <laughs> nobody <laughs> i'm nobody <laughs> Uh, uh, we're we're cutting up. What is Gimlet doing as this is happening? <laughs> um, face and Palm are having a nice little meeting to discuss this. <laughs> uh, Lima's Lima... is just trying to keep a straight face and just kind of like looking at the the Eternity Lords, looking at nobody, just hoping nobody notices her because she definitely has Hardy in her backpack. Wait, hoping that nobody notices her, or that well, nobody hoping that her? no one notices. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of like, like just sort of sneaking behind a crowd of like a few people, just to you know, but like very, just kind of slowly shifting her weight, just so that she's not seen. Come on, Lima, you're getting lost in the crowd. Join me here. <laughs> what is Ghostblade doing right now? I am using every single ounce of stealth that I can muster to make myself as close to invisible as possible in this crowd of people. Stealth check. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, 28. Yeah, you're you are stealthy as can be. <laughs> nice. Uh. He's oh, basically got a neon light saying stealthy AF. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the opposite of what someone with stealth would want. Well, no, it's a very distracting light. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. they're not looking <laughs> down. Stealthy <laughs> AF over somebody else. He's hiding behind <laughs> the light. It's, a, it's an illusion that floats in the opposite direction. <laughs> it points down <laughs> where he's running. Uh, nobody, the, the prince looks at you and says, you're... No, you're nobody. Well, that's my name, but I'm actually an eternity lord. That's what? I'm an eternity lord and a coblin. Oh, as, you know, technically he's correct. I this is odd. How? In this case, that's defeating. the worst kind of correct. How are you an eternity lord? I've never seen you before. Right, I'm not at the meetings. I get that, but on our way here, there was another eternity lord, and I kicked him down a cliff face. And I'm told that makes me an Eternity Lord. So nice to meet you. I'm nobody. This is now the coolest discussion ever. You kicked an Eternity Lord down a... What did you say? <laughs> I said a cliff face. A cliff face. Yeah, it was face. one of the big wings. You fought the Velocrolic? I That sounds right. <laughs> he's, he's the one attacking the city oh well maybe i'm not an eternity lord or a half eternity lord i don't know the rules here you have to, okay okay as an aside you're supposed to kill the eternity lord like proof of death to claim their title anyway you're the re you know hardy you're the reason that they're attacking my city i don't know hardy what's a hardy deception check I just love that <laughs> Prince Martin like went from being a stuck up little person to voice change really quickly. 18. Woo. <clears throat> oh. 
you don't know Hardy? <laughs> hey, we're causing we're causing problems today, bud. Yeah, I was, David was not expecting that role. I wasn't expecting like. I also wasn't <laughs> expecting this conversation to happen this way. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> I don't know what I thought. This wasn't what I thought. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's kind of on you I, for not anticipating we do the dumb thing because you know you're you pretty reliable a, on the dumb thing. You're, you're you're you could write a novel in preparation, but I don't know. Hardy was not in the novel, <laughs> <laughs> and then saying it convincingly. And then, yeah. <laughs> uh, at I don't this know Hardy. Point, I don't know Hardy. Uh, what is where's Lima at this point? You've just you would have just overheard this conversation, but there's a lot of ruckus happening around people are moving around very concerned where are you she's still like among the people and just sort of like observing waiting for her next move she doesn't exactly want to come forward and hang out with nobody in front of uh these other guys that are looking for hardy because she doesn't want anyone to discover that she has hardy in her bag do i see her at all doing this oh no no, because you would you're you're engaged with them, uh, Lima from from like, <laughs> kind of whispering in your ear from the back, L- Lima, Lima, we should probably get out of this room because he's going to he's going to try to give us up to to the uh, to the eternity lords. So yeah, if we do that though, they're gonna notice. There's there's only one way out of this place. We have to. Do you see the door behind them? And you'll see that there's a door like kind of off and away behind them. We have to get out that way. Oh, this is the DM's emergency hatch. Hardy. <laughs> All right. Well, she's gonna she's gonna look over at the others in the group, kind of like where where they are, kind of take note, and she's just gonna slowly sort of very <laughs> quietly and slowly shift her way around like the edge of the room, making sure that nobody notices her. I mean, that no one notices her and she's just going to like, just, you know, kind of glide her way towards that door. Give me a stealth check. And to be fair, when you were trying to see where I was, you were looking in the opposite direction of me. Cause you have no idea where I am. But it looked very entertaining from my vantage point. Ghostblade is hanging from a chandelier at this point, and no one. <laughs> I came in like a wrecking ball. There okay. it is. <laughs> They'll never see me. <laughs> um, stealth roll is a thirteen, <laughs> so not that successful. On a thirteen, you you make your way a- around the crowd, and you make your way to that door. And you get through it without anyone interfering. Okay. What is Gimlet doing? So does Gimlet see that people are starting to bail out of here? So, well, people are are talking amongst themselves. They're not exactly leaving. In oh, fact, I mean, more people are people. coming in. Oh, yes. You very much saw uh, Lima's 13 to walk out. And you could see that she's now... <laughs> Give him a little head for the front door and just sort of apologize to people, point to his bottle and just be like, me and the tree, we, we're going to ha- have a discussion. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. And by the by the front door, you mean following Lima or going out the way I think it's the other door because she was going out the back door, right? Well, she, well she's going, continuing. She's, she's walking north. So you could either walk north, continuing through, or south of the way you came. Now, is this like a tunnel or? No, it's like... the inside of a keep. This is just one entry. Oh, then I guess I'll try to head towards uh, the way she's going. Okay. Uh, yeah, and you'll just walk through and um, nobody's stopping you. There's also no guards there. Fair enough. You successfully Please. walk through. Uh, nobody back at the front. Uh, the prince is looking you up and down and say, what, what, what led you to fighting the Vela Kralik? What was, what is the circumstance? You strike me as an odd individual. 
That's yes. not very Oh, good. Nice he noticed. Say, but, <laughs> but we were journeying, we were journeying to your town through the cave of friends. Cave of friends. The cave of fiends. Friends. It's all right. A lot of people make that mistake. So you you were traveling here. What's your business here? We don't know. Well, <laughs> to talk to you, fine, sir. <laughs> At this point, you're going to see like a little bit of like just as a defense. He kind of like leans back a little bit, and I lean in. See, like, little well uh, you're gonna see little <laughs> sparks appearing around like his fingertips as if like he's bra like oh, bracing right. himself why would you want to see me you seem to have a little thing going on there with your hands i was a little worried about that so i thought we would talk it over insight check mm. where Can is you ghost detect the this incoming time? murder oh i'm still <laughs> hanging from the chandelier <laughs> Insight 22. On a 22, oh. you, you realize that he is... You have told him that you are the Eternity Lord that has slain the Vela Krolik, And now you are coming here to see him. He oh. is in defense mode. He thinks you want to kill him. Thinking that you're going to kill him. So I don't need to be two Eternity Lords. <laughs> to be fair, it crossed my <laughs> mind more than one. a few times. It's uh, true, he, I'm going to ask you to step back. That's fair. I come in peace. I'm just here to be friends. You also Forever. told him that the cave of fiends was the cave of friends. So he's probably thinking this person doesn't understand what that word means. <laughs> At which you point... keep using that word. I do not think that word means what you think it means. <laughs> the, the, uh, the elemental, uh, lady is going to lean over and whisper something in his ear and nobody give me a perception check to see if you pick it up sixteen yeah on a sixteen um you overhear him say uh people have gone to the throne room we should we should leave and he's going to look at you and just say um well, it was a pleasure to meet you, nobody. And he's going to turn, and the two of them are going to walk off and go down to the same area where Lima and Gimlet had walked through. At which point, Lima, both you and Gimlet have continued moving through this keep, and you find yourselves now standing in what looks like kind of this throne room that looks very old. And there is a very large throne sitting there. Uh, where is Ghostblade? You have watched from the chandelier that you have climbed up. <laughs> you are now seeing this with the bird's eye view. What do you do? I'm thinking of singing a song, but I can't hit that note. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and the entire crowd is like dispersing through the rest of the keep. The, the crowd is staying here. Like this is where they're safe. Like the, the city is being attacked, so they're harboring here for safety and i watched the rest of the people disappear through a part of the door to yes. another part of the keep i'm going to mm -hmm. try and stealthily follow them so they don't see me following them but i'm trying to ghost plate is swinging like tarzan across chandelier yep. to chandelier to get through from a chandelier here <laughs> you think somebody would notice you you <laughs> you would think so. He rolled a 27, so. 28, 28. So hey, <laughs> it's it's like those stealth games. He's currently in a cardboard box, so nobody can see him. <laughs> That's right. As this cardboard box kind of moves, <laughs> He's the party, bumping into people like, excuse me, and everyone's like, was that a cat? <laughs> Is that just crouches into the grass and suddenly like, where did he go? <laughs> mm -hmm. You all, you find yourselves, uh, Lima and Gimlet, you find yourselves standing in this throne room. Very, very, like, kind of loudly you hear behind. Who are you and what's your business here? As the prince and the other guy step into the room. Lima turns and around and says, lady. who are you? What's your I'm, business here? I'm Prince Martan. This is Sapphira, and we are the leadership here. What is your business being here? You're not supposed to be here. The 
reg everybody else is, should be in the keep, the main keep room there. Uh, Prince Martini, I uh, I don't know. Martin, I I was never in whatever. Look, just because you put an accent over about. it doesn't mean that we're going to respect the fact that you are Prince Give Martin. Points to the bottle is just like, where's where's your bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> he says the big you fancy chair there doesn't throne. have a hole in it. It's it's. Uh, Lima, I need a perception check, and I need and then and nobody on deck. Oh no! It was it was gonna be an eighteen, and now it's a ten. Yeah, you know what was going to be his worth? She blinked. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, Lima, you 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 notice that there is some movement in the bag behind you, like ruffling around. She's in the gonna bag just on your start, back. like she's gonna start just like shimmying her shoulders so that nobody notices that it's the bag moving. She's gonna be like, "Hey, uh, uh, I've got like a thing going on. Is there a bathroom nearby that I can <laughs> use, please?" Both Gimlet and Lima are I looking for Gibbs. the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right, no, nobody. You've watched everybody leave this room. Um, oh yes, I followed. You have followed, just making sure. You also notice that for some reason the chandeliers keep moving, but you haven't seen any reason why they might be haunted. That is that is weird. <laughs> in a keep to just have chandeliers <laughs> casting light in different ways around the room and every so often you'll notice that, a little, notice that a few sparkles of glitter fall from the ceiling every so often <laughs> very strange the whole day has been very strange yeah nobody as you enter into the room you see that lima is standing there doing a dance of sorts as the bag yeah. is moving around on her back. <laughs> I also start to shimmy my shoulders. <laughs> is this what we're doing now? Uh, Gimlet, Ghostblade, and nobody. Give me a perception check. Oh, yeah. That's something I'm no good at. Eh, perception. There we go. 13. Uh, 14. Two <laughs> <laughs> on a 14 ghost blade, especially since you're hanging from the ceiling like Spider Man. As you're looking down and you see that your party begins to dance, uh, oddly, you'll you'll see like there's kind of a glimmer of, of light coming from around Lima's neck. I'm going to need a very detailed description of all the things I see with my two. <laughs> <laughs> there's just fog in the room on, on a on a two it's cold in here <laughs> give a little use miter creation to create like a big overly poofy uh Sort of <laughs> okay, cool. So I've got nobody in Lima that's sitting here shimmying shoulders. Gimlet has created a puffy jacket and is just sitting there oddly staring off into space. Cold. What is that around your neck? The prince points at Lima. Nothing. There's something glowing there. No, there's not. The, there's something very... <laughs> she tucks it into her shirt. <laughs> I, it just is glowing through your art like it's, <laughs> uh -huh. there is no, a bright light no shining it. up it looks Notice like you're doing David a horror movie with light he underneath. doesn't want to test the dice he's afraid that Lime's going to roll like a 20 on a deception <laughs> check no it's not oh okay my eyes are lying to me <laughs> I, I no longer have a grasp on reality with that 20 he's like my bad <laughs> I apologize. Dance with us. <laughs> Dance with us. <laughs> Dance with us, yes. The best way to not worry dance. about <laughs> the best way to not worry about disaster is to dance. I guess it's going down. <laughs> this is where we would cut to a commercial break. <laughs> <laughs>
to regroup. <laughs> I'm sorry, David. <laughs> I, this I'm episode not. is all kinds of chaos. <laughs> I'm not. I'm loving You have problems second. with itching? Try our new medications. Side effects may include death, dismemberment, disembowelment, and, <laughs> and headaches. <dance. laughs> and involuntary dancing. All right, there's our commercial break. Uh, what's Gimlet doing at this point? Gimlet, you, you've now tried to perceive the room. It is cold. It is a throne room. Uh, but as you look back, you'll see that there is some kind of a weapon hanging from the wall behind the throne. Gimlet will examine that. It is uh, what looks like a very large golden spear. Do you walk over towards it? Yeah, give a little sort of look at it, like, you know, in the sort of like studying a piece of art kind of way. Uh, hey, don't uh, don't touch that. As as he as the prince just kind of accepts that the two dancing are <laughs> crazy and walks past them to acknowledge Gimlet, who has approached the spear. Is it Lima, sharp? Lima, like leans and whispers to nobody. It's working. Oh, I know. This was a great plan, Lima. <laughs> Do they? Con- are you two continuing to dance? Yeah, you guys. Are <laughs> of course, we have to keep it going. <laughs> uh, okay. At which point, uh, he approaches uh, Gimlet. And says, "Yeah, don't touch that. Um, only an Etherborn can take that down. Only uh, a what? An Etherborn can take that down. You wouldn't happen to." No one ever born, would you? You know, I I know lots of people now. It's it's really getting confusing. How would you I know, know all my friends, Prince? Maybe so I'm an other born. I didn't know it. it. Uh, we feagles, we we do get around a bit. <laughs> I might be like one eighth other born or something. Uh, Lima, I I need a uh, dexterity check. Oh, whoa. Okay. Uh, 21. Okay. You're going to start hearing very violent coughing coming from your backpack. Oh, no. Uh, the cat just wants to get <laughs> caught. I, <laughs> I can't breathe in this thing. <laughs> what do you have in here, Lima? Wait a second. Is this old bacon from when we fought on the pirate ship? <laughs> oh, no. No. I have ate you, that already, of course. Have you cleaned this thing out? What is that smell? <laughs> oh, party. Cat. Party. Party. Complains about the you have to be that. quiet. That's true. I, I, I need to breathe. I'm coming up for air. <sighs> she's she's like shimmying even, even more now and like covering him with her braid. I have circled around. It's a bright green cat. Well, we're we're not. I'm a giant person. I'm going to circle around and prevent anyone from seeing anything happening with the bag while dancing. Uh, they. <laughs> you feel a a, a a a jostle as a cat's head pokes out of the bag. It goes. Ah, I can finally breathe. It smells like old bacon in there. Um. At which yes, point... my prince. Sometimes when I smell bacon, I speak with an accent. <laughs> Deception check. <laughs> oh, had, dude, I'm in. This is going to backfire Deception on you. Check. The DC on this one has got to be like 72. <laughs> 11. Oh, no. Okay, good. <laughs> 11. <laughs> as, as the prince turns back and... and the, the woman standing there very clearly see the the green cat head that is now popped out of the bag. Uh, and on an 11, he just kind of oh, looks past the cat's you. Out of the, just, bag. the cat is out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you do know Hardy. Hello, Hardy. I, I don't know Hardy. That is clearly Hardy painted green. <clears throat> I, what is a Hardy? L- lying is unbecoming. 
I agree. That's why I don't do it. Deception check. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to roll well enough to convince her that that's not I... Hardy. <laughs> 19. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so... He believes that you have a serious issue with reality (laughs) and that you firmly believe that that's not Hardy. To be fair, that is better than the alternatives. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, the insanity defense is still on the table at this point. That, yeah, you definitely have, have that going for you. Uh, Hello, everyone. It has been a hot minute. I uh, hope everybody's not still mad about the, the, the thing. Uh, Ghostblade, what are you doing at this point? You're seeing all of this happening. Si- silence is deafening. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to decide how mean I want to be. Uh, no one can see me, right? You are still hanging from the ceiling. Uh, summon night wind right at Prince Martin. Oh no! <laughs> Glitter bomb. Please describe what you're doing here. I'm swinging from a chandelier. No one can see me, and I think it would be really funny given the interaction I'm watching and the fact that it, the jig is now up and Hardy is the green cat and. <clears throat> what I think I think Prince Martin with the accent, clearly Prince Martin, uh needs a glitter bomb. <laughs> gonna make him a glitter martini. So we're just gonna summon Nightwind, toss it out in trajectory of Prince Martin to hopefully just coat him in a yeah, everything's better with a magic horse. You you throw out the, the Nightwind stone and Nightwind just kind of uh appears. Uh, in a puff of glitter, kind of riding around in the in the air before returning oh back to you, uh, and there is very clearly a very slow cloud of glitter that you watch just fall in slow motion down upon him <laughs> as he is. Ah! Oh, it's in my eye. Yep. Oh! <laughs> Now you are Prince Martini. They're yelling glitter. (laughs) Oh, we are so getting murdered. Make it rain. Make it rain. Throw some glitter. Oh, wait. Go and say. Go and say. Throw some glitter. Make it rain. There we go. Now I've now um, now I have now I have a re- redeeming Kesha reference. Everyone roll initiative. Public safety tip. um, Oh no! Do not throw glitter because it can end up in eyes. That's an important safety tip. That's why it's lawyers and dragons, folks. <laughs> oh, we have. Oh, my gosh. I just saw nobody's role for initiative, and somehow I did worse. 13. Uh, I'm a five. I'm a four. I'm a six. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I got a 13. Is that is that our top roll? That's yes. depressing. <laughs> By far. <laughs> That's depressing. You guys no got to up your game. <laughs> Literally uh, adding up all of the others. Uh, ties yours. You don't need initiative when you've got dance. <laughs> no, that is that is a tie when you need initiative. Uh, I need Lima and Te- Ghostblade is still in stealth. All he did was summon Nightwind in the air and they didn't look at him. So Ghostblade is still in stealth. Uh, but very clearly, they see nobody, Lima and Hardy. And uh, from the kind of furthest point of the room, although it's not a very large room, the uh, elemental lady is just going to summon a little twister underneath your feet to lift you Ooh. off the air. Uh, yeah. So I need the three of you, Hardy inclu- being the third, to roll a dexterity saving throw. And so oh, nobody yeah. in Lima, dex save th- saving throws. All right, 16. 20. 16 and 20. So what's going to happen is <laughs> this kind of uh, spiral of, of air is just going to like lift you off the ground and spin you around really fast before dropping you. And you'll take half damage 
which is the uh, you will take eight damage. That is the halved. Okay. Wow. That is enough. Uh, you will tell us who you are and what you know, or you will be imprisoned, is what she says from the for this point in the room. Yeah, we are the I don't dancing like those kind friends. of commands. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> go with go with nobody's answer. <laughs> Gimlet, it is your turn. Ah, oh, crap. Um, hmm. My best distraction here is not going to be super helpful. Um, you know what? This is probably a great time to be invisible. Let's do that. <laughs> uh, you cast invisibility? I cast invisibility on myself. You guys are all watching as uh, um, Ghost Flea. You'll see as the cloud descends, a little twister knocks your friends over, and Gimlet just poof, vanishes. Lima's going to look over and be like, What? Where? what? Why? <laughs> I'm not with them. <laughs> Rude. I'm just looking for the bathroom. <laughs> uh, it is it is uh, Martin's turn, and uh, he is going to look down uh, upon all of you and say, "Are you? Why are you here? You've brought Hardy here to me. What are you assassins? You trying to you you looking for revenge? You're very paranoid, sir. We are your friends. I told you this. Oh my God, he's a gaslighter too. <laughs> friends don't Hardy. <laughs> he's friends. a gaslighter." <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Looking, well, if, are you are you waiting for a roll for me? I'm sorry. No, no. He was just talking. Oh. He's he's you know doing what NPCs would do is monologue on their turns a little bit. <laughs> uh, at which point he is going to reach out and electrocute nobody. Oh, well, sir, with a twenty-one to hit. Oh no! As a blast me. of lightning strikes from his. Um, that's seven damage. <laughs> That is not how friends behave. Now, who are you and why are you here? I'm electrocuted. That's not a name. <laughs> Lima, it's your turn. What do you do? You are you are knocked down on the ground. Okay. Um, <clears throat> she she gets up. And uh, she's just, look, I mean, we didn't ask for any of this. We're just passing through. Maybe you could let us pass through without inflicting more harm upon us. I He's am like, the, I've considered this and no. I, I am the prince and you have made your way. You, you're not from my city. You've made your way into my throne room and clearly have Hardy with you. And this gentleman here has told me that you're attempting to kill eternity lords. No, that's not true. That is, <laughs> I think. Look, I think you I are don't a little attempt. bit paranoid. Don't believe our lying mouths. Come on, <laughs> we're completely uh, untrustworthy. I am definitely not a character you were supposed to side with. I am very clearly just another royalty person for you to kill. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you have a choice. You can either let us proceed and we won't hurt you, or... Lima, did you stand up yet? Or are you saying yeah. this from the floor? Okay. No, no, no. She already stood up. She already stood up. <laughs> she's yelling us from the floor. That's funny. <laughs> she's And she's in, like, an active stance, too. Like, just to make sure in case, you know, he throws some lightning at Lima, too. Um, so No, she's just... Like, look, like, just let us through. Otherwise... We will have no other choice but to reciprocate. Oh, good. That's. I, I need a threatening pers- royalty always goes well. Persuasion at disadvantage because of what you guys have already done. <laughs> <laughs> That's one. Oh, That's two. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
You are <laughs> clearly you are clearly in the right, and I am in the wrong. Uh, please, <laughs> here is the exit to the building. <laughs> And also some money. <laughs> and also some money. For, for, at which point the lady is so upset with his reaction that she just walks out. And um, I think we broke up a marriage here today, folks. <laughs> it's okay. It's probably not the first time. It was already on the last straw, and that was it. That was his cowardice. Was That was finally it. Um, well, I'll get up off the floor. You get up. <laughs> you still feel the like the the static electricity as you've been yeah. electrocuted. <laughs> been a little electrocuted today. You're, you're also wearing plate armor, so that was not pleasant. Oh, it's still buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta ground uh, myself. At which point, as he is like clearly, there's been a misunderstanding. Um. You hear, you all hear a very loud bang coming from outside. <clears throat> oh no! Ghostblade, give me a perception check with advantage because I'm up top in the chandelier and I can see everything. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, you you could see through the windows. Fifteen. So okay. not great, but did you like that lawyering? I thought that was good. I I appreciate the lawyering on lawyers and dragons. In return, he will dragon at you. <laughs> <laughs> um Ghostblade, as you, you, you see what has happened here, and it makes no sense. But as you look up and look out the window, you see that the wall outside collapses. So the wall, the outside wall of the city totally collapses. And you see on the other side of it, a Batman. swarm of monsters start fleeing into the flying into the city and leading Ugh. the charge is a giant bat creature man. Oh, no. That you recognize. We meet again. Yeah, this is going swimmingly, guys. You um, you clearly have caught and, and Martin is going to you, you clearly have caused all of this misunderstanding and destruction here why is why is he attacking here and why does he think that we're harboring hardy you you're clearly harboring hardy i don't Who's even know who hardy to? is <laughs> Can we, is there any way to perceive whether know. this guy is turnable like is there any way to perceive whether this guy can be convinced to fight with us rather than be a jerk and just I've got some pretty. I don't think he's actually guys. been that much of a jerk. <laughs> he to be hasn't honest. been a jerk. He's just doing his job. <laughs> That's true. Like every uh, time, except, except for the whole lightning and lightning bit. <laughs> there I are mean, some clear villains to be here. Fair, nobody he, had that coming. It's us. <laughs> he told him that he's uh, he was killing Eternity Lords. <laughs> <laughs> I he killed is one. one. He's royalty. Y'all are in the throne room. <laughs> Yeah, no, there are some clear villains uh, here. It's us. <laughs> Nobody are sees me yet, though. Like, I'm not really doing anything. I must Nobody say. Nobody doesn't see you. You're hiding. This is That's absolutely true. on brand for cat scatterbrained. Okay, I really like it. This is what the cat would do. <laughs> oh, good. Hardy approves. We are clearly in the wrong. <laughs> uh, at which point... Um, the giant bat creature starts yelling out. Bring me Hardy. Oh, no. Show him to me, and I will eat him. And you all hear this. <laughs> tiny bite. <laughs> he is like I a get, fruit snack. <laughs> I, I get ready in my kicking stance. So we have one offer Wait, on the table. What is your kicking stance? Oh. It's kind of one leg back, but ready. Daniel son from Karate Kid. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no flying cranes. Listen, there's only one thing you're not allowed to do, and then you're going to do it. Lima's going to turn to everyone else and say, I mean, clearly, 
we, we, we can't just leave him, leave him behind at this point. We have to kill him. Who? <laughs> Which one are you killing? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. No, a fair this, is, question. this is the DM asking. Wait, that's, yeah, that's, that's what I mean. This is a very fair question. <laughs> I mean, a little of column A, a little of column B. <laughs> <laughs> it's a buffet of death. <laughs> wait, wait! I call out. All we have them, Marty. and then we fry. Th no, I'm kidding. Uh, no, I'm talking about the Did Batman, you obviously. just tell them that we don't have Hardy, and now you're calling out we have Hardy? <laughs> I'm, I'm calling out to the Bat Demon, yes. We have Hardy. No. <laughs> and I would like to grab Prince Martin by the back of the scruff of his outfit. Oh, my word. David, how much do you regret life right now? Like, just I this part of it. I've never <laughs> been so, how do I write myself out of this corner ever <laughs> in my up, life? While Invisible is going to look around for something valuable and pocket-sized. <laughs> what is a plot? Help me, Lima. <laughs> Help because me, Lima. at this point, everything's gone sideways, so I might as well, you know, we're, steal something. We're going to tell him Hardy transformed into this guy. Help me. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Okay, I love it. It's a great plan. Let's do it. It's a great <laughs> there is nothing about this plan that is great. What is Ghostblade doing at this point? I'm watching all of this, both through the fourth wall, fifth wall, sixth. I don't care what wall has been shut down. I'm just enjoying life. No one can okay. see me yet. I want to keep it that way. Gimlet, give me a perception check. All right. Perception or investigation? Perception first. Perception is eight. It is On warm. An eight. <laughs> it is now warm. <laughs> you can take off your jacket. Eddie, I was all right. I'll just thing. let that dis or vanish. Um, no, Gamela. As you look around, you'll you'll once again see like this is a pretty old kind of chamber. There's a spear on the wall, and you could see that under it, there is kind of this like hollowed out space in the wall for something to be put in like you would think like an like a key of sorts that might do something when put in the wall you also uh Is notice like behind you shape that key opening um no it's more like an in a small indent in the wall okay uh you also notice behind you there's a bathroom <laughs> You know what? The bathroom is actually not a bad place to be right now. Let's go investigate <laughs> that. And it might have something valuable to steal. Probably not, but you know, it's at least a safer place to be. Give it. Why are you carrying the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> hey, these are the kind of people who might have like, you know, whatever in their gold plated soap, uh, soap dish or some stupid thing. <laughs> start stealing the faucet <laughs> you could, yeah you go into the bathroom and it's decked out in like golden and very high end uh, uh plumbing <laughs> the sinks are very fancy Man, really looking for things wrench. that fit into like pockets or bags as opposed to like trying to smuggle out a sink they have like they have like the high end uh bathroom paper towels mm. You know what? A paper towel might be useful later. <laughs> to soak up the blood when we start getting murdered. Because we deserve it at this point. You've, you've now got a, a, a good old stack of royal bathroom paper towels. Mm -hmm. uh, at which point, Ghostblade, you see that the uh, Ghostblade still hanging from the ceiling looks over and sees that the giant bat creature is now uh, charging at the wall of the building you are in? Oh, mm -hmm. no. What do you do? Uh, <laughs> look for a uh, support structure that's not attached to that wall. So a free floating that I can then swing over to so that when that wall comes down, it doesn't kick me out of the ceiling. Okay. Very on brand. There is, there, there is a kind of uh, balcony to the other side from the second floor up. 
that you can jump to. Give me an athletics check to jump to it. Okay. Eleven. Dang it. Uh, on an eleven. Ghostblade, you're going to jump from the chandelier and reach to try to grab the balcony. And you just get you get one hand on it, but you don't get the other. You just miss it slightly. You are hanging on there. And you're going to see, standing up on the balcony, leaning over and saying, come on, pull yourself up. Is Anukan standing Anukan. there who reaches yes. his hand down to help you up? What? And he's going to be like, so um, are you guys high or what? <laughs> <laughs> apparently uh no i want to reach back because this hasn't been he's never been able to physically assist me before so i want to see if him coming back with all the murder that we're doing is helping so can i reach up and see if he can actually yes help me up and okay. you, you feel as hands connect and he is physically there all right am, am i on the balcony now you are he pulls you up onto the balcony Oh, this is great. <laughs> Anu Khan, uh, do you, can you see the bat guy that's coming at us? Yes, that's that's a Velocrolic. Very so, ugly, not friendly at all. How do we dispatch of a Velocrolic? Have you come across one before? Best thing you could do is cut its head off. <laughs> awesome. Soul Sealer 3000 comes out of the sheath. <laughs> After you do that, burn it. It's kind of like you know a giant cutting the head off works on everything. <laughs> like as weaknesses go, that's a terrible weakness. But it's a, but it, it's a no, it's a giant vampire. You didn't miss that his part. His weakness is to getting murdered on fire. You have to burn it. It's like a giant vampire. If you cut its head off, you have to make sure you burn it. Some people would say you have to stuff it with garlic, but I don't that's think we have garlic, garlic anywhere nearby. Yeah. Yeah, if we if we stuff a giant bat with garlic, then Lima's mm. having a feast. <laughs> she might anyway. Uh, at which point, on fire, it's a roasted garlic vampire bat. Oh no! Delicacy. <laughs> the world's worst restaurant here, folks. I have come for Hardy. We've got Hardy. As as boom, the wall just kind of bursts inward, and I need everybody to roll a dexterity. Uh, save except oh, for Ghostblade because you're on the other side, and except for Gimlet because Gimlet's in the bathroom. In this that is the best place to be. <laughs> My save is an eight. Oh no! Uh, the, the 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 prince rolled a net one, and he has collapsed to the floor. <gasps> we hold Martini! him up. We hold him up. Um. I see you are the traitor, Martin. I shall eat all of you now. This and is every... Hardy. <laughs> He's not going for it. He's just going to eat all of you. Because um, there is also a green cat still sticking out of Lima's bag. Uh, at which point, everybody roll initiative. I have a question before we do. Uh, did he knock the wall that has the gold spear? The gold spear, no, no. So that would be in the center of the room, by the throne. Okay. This is. Oh, I thought it was up the on the west. Wall. The west wall. Well, it. I mean, it is, but it's that's in the center. Oh, okay. Part of the room. Um, this is the west I got a wall. Thirteen. Knock down. <clears throat> Twelve. Six. Four. So same order as before. Okay, uh, going first is uh, going to be the giant bat creature who is going to step forward and swing down on the prince. Ugh. I toss him forward to the bat creature. Oh, yeah, he's no. going to roll a nat 20. <laughs> Why are you throwing the prince under the bus or under the bat monster as the case might be here? He is going to swing upon the prince, dealing a 12 damage, and he is uh, knocked down, and you just see that there is a giant slash across his face, and he is down. Ew. Not pretty. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, Gimlet, it is your turn. You have heard the explosion of the wall from in the other room. 
Now, when you say a giant bat creature, how giant is giant? Uh, 14 is it bigger feet than tall? a large size. I th well, it would be like 14 feet. It's big. I just need to for a spell effect. Is it bigger than large? Uh, I think it fits the large category. All right. Um, I don't know if that's the right call now. Oh, no, um, it is. It is large. Maximum large is 16, so it would fit. Eh, do I want to hamster ball him? No, there's only him. So let's just let's just come on out and summon up one of those uh, horrible shadow spawn. So give a little step out of the bathroom and summon a, uh, a sorrow spirit. Or oh, oh, it's that feel sad. Sometimes you step out of the bathroom and you've summoned a sorrow spirit. I get that. <laughs> it's a despair <laughs> spirit, but yes. So it'll show up and then it will make a dreadful scream. So everything that's within 30 feet of the spirit has to make a whiz save. Uh, so it's not within 30 feet of us, right? I don't know how big this room is. Very likely. 30 feet is not the biggest space in the world. It's No, it's more like a 60. See, this is why in other games, it's a 20 squares across because that's relative. The feet is, is, is makes it more challenging. Um, all right, so that's a save. Uh, the prince failed. Uh, and the... Uh, he failed with a five. <laughs> and the uh, Velocrolic scored a 17. That'll make it. Um, anything that failed, which is just the prince, is frightened of the spirit for a minute. <laughs> this, this poor, poor prince, prince, man. He's unconscious. <laughs> He's got his gash on his gash face. On his He's face. terrified. He's been He's gaslit to high heaven. <laughs> He's being he's being pushed forward towards this other monster as like fake hardy. To be fair, I when you it. are unconscious, afraid is also not that bad of a thing. The two <laughs> things kind of cancel each other out. I mean, maybe he's having horrible nightmares, but he's not going to be able to like run away or anything. Yeah. yeah. We'll uh, never know. It's not Gimlet, is that is that your turn? That's me. That's that's all me. Oh, and it makes me visible when I summon that thing. Lima, it is your turn. The uh, creature has just burst in and attacked the prince. What do you do? Lima, uh, how far is Lima from that golden spear? You're within you're within 30 feet. Okay. Lima's gonna she's gonna make a mad dash for it. Um, and she's gonna see if her amulet fits in that space on the wall. Oh, I see someone figured it out. <laughs> oh, Good I don't think I've ever actually been able to look at that amulet properly, so Gimlet. Yes, no, it's not your fault. Pitch, it, pitch, it, it's glowing as soon as you walk in the room, and oh, there's a golden spear over there. Hint, hint, hint. With a spot of like, okay, now we're cooking with I don't know what, but we're cooking something. Bacon grease. Uh, bacon. Like, bacon grease. It's we're cooking with bacon grease. Yes, you you. You step in the room and uh, you step over there and you see where, oh, hey, there is a cutout here for my amulet. <laughs> you put the amulet in and it ignites, it lights up and you just see this like kind of beam of light course up from the amulet into that. And it looks like over the, the spear, which was like kind of, it looks like it has gold all through it. Everything that isn't gold changes to gold and it lights up the entire thing is now illuminated and golden okay so she picks it up and she just kind of examines it for a second and she goes "Ooh, pretty and then she takes the amulet back puts it around her neck uh and then very quickly takes aim with the spear at the uh at the at the bat man okay. do you have any idea what the spear does nope no just gonna it's pointy huck it and chuck it and <laughs> Yeah. Are I'm reminded you? of the nuclear hand grenade from uh, Paranoia. <laughs> we better are hope you, it doesn't do that. Are you throwing the spear or are you like attacking with it? Uh like holding it. How how far am I from the from the, the bat guy? Uh well it gives you 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 would have run over I mean he's within like 
15 feet of you here. Okay. I guess. <clears throat> yeah, she's going to, she's going to throw it at him right, right, at, right at the neck. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. Roll, roll a basic weapon attack. It should be on your character sheet. Uh... Also known as a yeet check. <laughs> yeet. So, so basic weapon attack. Oh, just, uh, where is, sorry. Is this, is this like, is there a special, there's a special button for that? Uh, no, well, it should be under your attacks. There should be ba a basic oh. weapon attack. I have attacks. I have crossbow, mace, guiding bolt, inflict wound, scorching ray, unarm strike, channel divinity. Roll the, the, to hit option for your crossbow okay 15 now roll 3d8 all right Fourteen. <laughs> okay um Nobody and ghost blade did it and did it, it? I'm I'm assuming it hit and and had damage. Oh yes, <clears throat> yeah yeah. Fifteen. Okay, hit. okay. Uh, the three of you will watch as Lima runs over to the wall and amulet in spear throws it at this creature, <laughs> which strikes true and hits him like right in the chest. Um. <laughs> For, for 14 damage, I think you said. Mm -hmm. uh, it is very much lighting up the area, and all of you have a very clear line of sight on this creature. It is uh, it is the prince's turn. He, uh, he will not regain consciousness with a three, <laughs> and oh, no. it is now nobody's turn. <laughs> It is. I'm going to light up my flame tongue great sword. Oh, yeah. Okay. A, a very that... large great sword ignites in flame. <laughs> Yay. And I'm going to try to rouse the prince. Wake up, prince. Wake up. <laughs> How? Are you just yelling to him to wake up? Or are you going over and trying to wake I, him up? I, I go over to him. I'm yelling at him. I give him a very light kick in the tummy. <laughs> With the power of loud noises and kicking him while he's unconscious. <laughs> That's how we're waking him up. In the tummy. Give me, give me a strength check. Yeah, I, was seeing, I saw that coming. Wow. He absolutely Look. thinks you're trying to kill him if he's waking up. <laughs> he wakes up and sees you holding the sword over him. <laughs> and, and then booting him, him in the gut. <laughs> yeah. What check did you ask for, David? A strength Strike. check, sir. Oh, I, I don't. <laughs> Very Maybe likely. we need a common sense check. Well, so here's a question for the for David. If he rolls high, is it he has control over his yes. strength, or it just is the strength? No, uh, he has control over it, depending on how high he rolls. Twenty five. Okay. okay, yeah, you okay. have control over how hard how hard do you kick. <laughs> Very, very lightly. <laughs> it's a love tap. Like, hey, you know, <laughs> wake up. So you're not trying to like yeet his kidneys out through his face. <laughs> like when you try to kick a loved one awake, you know, spouse. Why would you try to kick a loved one awake? Because <laughs> they fell say, asleep in front of the movie to, and they oh, weren't supposed to. That's, I've never tried to kick Mrs. Rumble awake. <laughs> Well, to be fair, wake I up, up teenagers. Mrs. Hogla. <laughs> Mrs. Hogla, we, we, is there is there something that we should talk about? <laughs> I kick a loved one awake. I think How does one nudge? Kick? I think you know the what? appropriate word is nudge. Nudge might be a word, but kick is the wrong. <laughs> but you nudge with your foot, so I can see kicking slash nudging. Can... Yes, very lightly. <laughs> he doesn't wake up because he rolled a four. <laughs> uh, what else do you do on your turn with your giant sword? <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> <sighs> well, I'm going to reframe my body towards 
the what is it a velacrix or something velacrolic velacrolic the batman velatrix velatrix lestrange I, my brain went there too <laughs> and i'm going to swing at its neck okay roll the hit 18 18 is a hit uh 6 damage Damage. Okay. Ghostblade, it is your turn. You have now, you've seen everything that has happened here. You still have a bird's eye view. I'd like to know what you do. Is that because I'm at an elevated position to the person I'm attacking? That is correct. So, and put another, might I have an advantage on an attack? It depends on the type of attack. A sneak attack? Has he seen me? He does not know you're there. If I come from an elevated position, he will. You will sneak attack. You will definitely okay. sneak attack. Death then from above. We, we are going to go sneak attack with Soul Stealer three thousand, and we're going to have the dagger in the uh, in the other hand simultaneously. So we're going to try and do a two so, weapon attack with both. So you are he is here, and you are over here. You're at a distance. How would you like to close that distance? You have the option. I would see is one. Uh, jump to the chandeliers again, or two, ride Nightwind there and drop off of Nightwind. I give the choice to you. For comedic effect, happen. for comedic effect, we're gonna ride Nightwind and hope that Nightwind just scatters glitter across everybody else in the sky as we go over there. Uh, everyone except for Gimlet is now covered in. Uh, not thick glitter, but you're all certainly glowing and sparkly as Ghostblade, you fly over uh, and drop down onto the creature and roll to attack. A 24 for Soul Stealer 3000. 24 is a hit. And then do, so do I roll, I'm going to roll this damage and then the dagger and then I do the sneak attack extra damage. <clears throat> That's right. Okay, so this damage is seven. Dagger to hit is a 16 to hit. Hit. That's going to be seven damage. And then the sneak attack damage. Uh, so what's 14 plus eight? 20, so that's 14 plus eight, 24 damage. Sorry, 22 damage. 22 damage. So, you guys, you, you, uh, or Ghost Lady, you charge off and fly through the air a little bit, which is something you may not have known you could have done before using Nightwind, dropping down onto this creature. And where are you stabbing him? So, Soul Stealer is just kind of coming straight in at the neck, trying to lop the head off. And the dagger is trying to cut any loose ends that we miss and would leave behind. Um, okay, I need as you're you're cutting through and you strike true and you you deal a lot of damage. I need nobody, Lima and Gimlet to roll a perception check. Sure. Oh, me too. Sure, that's a thing I yes. can never do. Oh wait, I got a seventeen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Yeah, all all of you are going to see as Ghostblade lands and you see that you are now covered in glitter, except for Gimlet because he's still by the bathroom. And you're going to see as that sword comes through and strikes him, there is this kind of magical effect where you could see the creature is being somehow magically, this red U kind of covers him as there's this magic being pulled from the creature into the sword. Uh, as he's carving through him. But he does not cut his head off all the way. He just deals a ton of damage. And with that, we jump back to that creature himself. Wait, disengage. Oh. You're Coming on top of it. Oh, dang it. Okay, I'm on top of it. I want to stay there. Um, also, when the creature starts its turn, uh, it, it has to roll the save. No, it has its speed reduced by 20 feet because it is next it's to near the, the spirit spirit. 
So it Side can't note, move. Nobody saw me coming before I jumped off the balcony, right? So that freaked everyone out. That's fun. Wait, if nobody saw you. No. <laughs> you mean no one? Oh, dang it. <laughs> That's never going to get old. Two years <laughs> <Never>. now. <laughs> I made the mistake twice today already. <laughs> On in a in a wait, uh, Ian, is there any penalty? Does he have to roll again? I know he can't move, but is there it's any penalty? It's not a roll, it just reduces his speed by 20 feet. Okay, uh, so yeah. he, he really can't move that far, but with a natural 20, he's going to reach up and grab Ghostblade and hold you up, and he's going to try to crush you in his hand. Does a 17 hit? It does. You are going to can take I dodge 11. this at all? Well, but it's not a it's not an AOE thing or a it's not a save. It's an actual attack. You're he's in your hand and he's just crushing. Um, you oh, take so eleven damage. Oh, you can't dang. dodge getting squeezed by a giant bat hand of a giant bat man. No, but Rick, in theory, I could dodge the hand reaching out towards me. So that was why I was asking the question. And he rolled a net 20. Yeah, Ooh. I know. 11 damage. Got it. Uh, at which point he's going to just hold you up in the air. Um, and he's going to try to bite you. Ooh. Unsanitary. And, and he doesn't quite get far enough because his neck is gushing blood and you are very much covered in blood. Um, it is not a pretty sight. That's gross. It is Gimlet's also turn. Also unsanitary. <laughs> this is how pandemics happen, Ghostblade. <laughs> you know, no, there's all the jokes no. I can make here and I'm going to make none of them because none it will them. get demonetized. A pangolin <laughs> walks through the room. <laughs> <laughs> it's so demonetized. Um, yes, YouTube's I'm, already added a message, I'm sure. <laughs> the pen is try not to hit start from fighting a giant Batman. I know. <laughs> I know, YouTube. I'm going to cast Ray of Frost at this thing. Ray of Frost. AC 18 hit. 18 is a hit. <clears throat> All right. Then it is going to take. Nine points of cold damage, and its speed is reduced by ten feet until the start of my next turn. <laughs> and then the shadow thing is going to move up, and it's going to attack. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> because we're being jerks here. All right, and for some reason it doesn't give me the uh, convenient attacks here, so I got to do it the uh, d twenty way. Uh, roll. All right, so that is going to be AC lots. Um, 26. 26 damage? Uh, no, oh, AC 26. Oh, 26 hits, yeah. I should, I was hoping, but you know, I want to check first. Uh, that is AC, or sorry, that is 11 damage of cold damage as it swipes the thing. Okay. And on its turn, because now the shadow thing is five feet away, it's going to, uh, he's going to lose another uh, 20 feet of movement. So he's going to be at a 30 foot movement penalty on his, on his turn. <laughs> We're just locking him down. Uh, on, on that turn, uh, Gimlet, you're going to notice that with all of the attacks, there is an air of, it is cold in this room, and his like legs to his feet are now like frozen in place. You see that there is just like ice kind of coming up and freezing him in place, especially with that uh, um, frost bolt. It's getting cold in here. It's time for you to die. <laughs> Lima, it's your turn. There is still a spear sticking out of him, and his head has been very badly hurt. I was just gonna ask if this if if my new spear was still in him. Um, <laughs> she's gonna she's gonna she's gonna run right up to him and like parkour to grab the spear, and at the same time she's gonna use burning hands on his chest as she's pulling it out of him. That's pretty metal. Uh, give me an athletics <laughs> check. <laughs> 
we'll see if that works. <laughs> parkour. 16. Yeah, on a 16, you're able to do the parkour. That's pretty cool. Now uh, roll for burning hands. All right. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's a dexterity throw. Okay. Dex save. So I just, yeah. He saves with a 15. Oh, no. All right. Well, she's still you, launching you off of him now with the spear. <laughs> um, wait, click on burning hands. I think it's save. It's it's half. I, I don't remember. So. I believe it's half. Uh, or yep, take half. take half as much damage. So what was the damage? Oh, uh, so okay. You oh, so then I, I still roll this, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. So five Ten, damage. So it's a five. All right. Okay. Prince is going to try and wake up. The prince, <laughs> prince wakes Valiant. up. And prince Valiant, finally. wake up. <laughs> prince Valiums maybe had a few too many of the uh, the Valiums. Prince Valiums. Too many martinis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to conduct a wedding. <laughs> uh, you guys will... <laughs> Uh, he, he, you'll, you'll notice that he wakes up and he just kind of starts crawling away and he's going to make it to the wall. So he's, no. he's trying to get out of here. Wimp. Nobody. It's your turn. Get out of here. Prince we will protect you. He doesn't answer. <laughs> he says after he tried to feed the prince to the bat <laughs> and kicked him awake. That kick is what woke him up. N nobody's new name is gaslight. <laughs> <laughs> it's not nobody anymore which is quite literally very fitting because he tells everyone he's nobody when he is which is somebody. gaslighting <laughs> it's a name is it though <laughs> he was given a name and still goes by nobody <laughs> I will try to finish the job on this decapitation his real okay. name's got to be something awful, like Nigel. <laughs> Nigel. <laughs> Nigel. <laughs> That'll be a plot twist. My to hit is seven. That oh, is no. a miss. Oh, no. You swing and you miss, but you have extra attack. I do have an extra attack. Let's try again. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, extra attack. <laughs> So I whiff on that one, but I try again with a 12. That is still a miss. Okay, so, so I missed the 14-foot Batman again. But you know what? He's a very small target. Failure is just another chance to succeed. Yeah, it's going in the recap. Uh, okay, Tony Ghost Robin. Is... <laughs> <laughs> Ghostblade, it's your turn. Uh, well, I need to break in... free of his hands. Yes, I need a strength check. Mm. Strength check or strength save? Strength check. <sighs> 11. On an 11, you don't get fully free, but your hands are free. And you can I get uh, so I have my hands are free. So can I swing soul stealer? Yes. Then we're going to swing Soul Stealer at his neck. Okay, dude, go for it. Be careful. It's hard to hit. With a 19? 19 is a hit. I warmed it up for you. Five damage. <laughs> and on that strike, Ghostblade, you find yourself tumbling towards the ground as a very large bat-like head falls and hits the floor and its hand comes and slams down and you kind of roll out you know you guys got to stop making fun of ghost blade you really need to stop making fun he does okay at dispatching bad guys i don't think he's dispatched yet. you know um, based on your performance today i think the mockery will still continue uh, <laughs> can someone light him on fire the hand of the creature begins to lift very slowly. Hang on. You move I chop his hand off. Roll the hit. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, 20. Yeah, that's a hit. By hand. All right. Flaming sword damage of nine to chop the hand off. You successfully chopped the hand off. I grabbed the hand. All right. Now we can burn him. <laughs> <clears throat> what do you, how, how do you burn him? Let, I don't know. Why am I? You hungry? Forward. Doesn't he have a flaming sword? Like I do have a flaming way. sword, but it's it's really more of a directed flame. We need a we need a full featured flame. So we're gonna it's, let it's all right, hungry. nobody, <laughs> out of my way, out of my way here. She she casts flaming sphere right right at him. <laughs> a flaming sphere ignites on top of the creature, uh, and the creature's head just begins to burn, and it takes a little while, but it just disintegrates into ashes. That is all, all that right. is left. I walk up to Prince Martin, who is crawled Martini. away and ran away from you. That's that's fine, but I hold up the hand and say, "Now I'm an eternal lord." <laughs> that's where we're ending today's episode of Lawyers and Dragons. So nice. <laughs> right on time. Oh, wow! Wow! Good run. I'm sure there was a there was a good portion of today where david was like how are we going to end this on time yes we're sorry david i'm sure this not. was like how do i have this where he's not like just declaring war against everything <laughs> no we are sorry david we don't we don't want to take you too far off the rails with crossies no. <laughs> doesn't count <laughs> <laughs> says the gaslighting thing. <laughs> That's all good. I'm We've only got... about ten percent sorry. <laughs> this is just how DMing goes sometimes. <laughs> it is. Hey everybody, thank that's... you for joining us today on Lawyers and Dragons, where we had a character on the thumbnail that appeared for thirty seconds, and a monster <laughs> mash that mostly involved immolating a giant Batman. But we really appreciate you. We will see you next week. We are back, whole gang potentially plus somebody maybe we have a surprise we'll see next weekend at the same time 10 a.m saturday and thank you everybody for being in chat hanging out thank you david thank you ian thank you rob thank you alita this was a lot of fun and now i'm a lord of eternity so everybody's a winner <laughs> also that that man is definitely not the hero gotham needs right now <laughs> he gone See everybody.